Hey, what is up, dudes and dudes? This is Dude Dudes here, and today we have a green day. Well, it's more like a fake green day, as I as I told you guys that today is gonna have a green day. I don't want to go back and、uh, insert my own talking, cause I think some of you think that's pretentious, so I'm gonna stop doing that. Actually, no, just not in this video. <coughs> as you can see, before the market start, there actually I I suspect that people actually have. Insider information on when this merger is gonna come down. This is why you see a massive pull up here, or there might be someone covered here, or it could be a buying volume all the way up over here. Okay, I'm I'm pretty sure someone have information that、uh, acquisition is coming because when they post the filing, they probably file the 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 you know the 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 in, the initial or the final transaction whatever. On yesterday, or started the process,、um, because the merger haven't. I don't think the merger officially closed. It's not really a merger; it's an acquisition, right? The acquisition have officially closed, but some people might already sniff through like a lot of the files and understand that they might acquire. So they sort of you know bought up like in the morning. As you can see in the morning, we have the regular pull down over here.、Um, this part is the shorting part. This is the part shorting, and then this is all retail selling. Selling off, and then when retail selling off as to our previous low, which is three point oh nine, it almost hits that point. You see, three point ten. We we got to three point ten, and people are like, ah,、uh, maybe not, you know. And also, shorts doesn't want it to go down to two dollars yet, because they also want to know what are the, like the the actual news is. So then you will see like in the, in the in the middle of the market, you know, pull up, pull up, pull up, and George start having his. His、uh, little conference about the acquisition and it just trades flat because the market is still digesting what is really going on. And I will tell you that the acquisition news can be viewed as a very bullish news because what? So in a very simple spell, okay, what does this, um, what does this company do, right? Nanotech Security Corp is sort of like a company that. They produces, you know, like banknotes. Like you have banknotes, bank documents. Like you know, all of your your、uh, your credit cards have like little. So for example, right, you have these things, right? You have like dates, and you have all of these like little barcodes. So all these, this what com this company do is they they sort of create this little strip over here that when you shine a light on on it, sometimes when you look at your ID card, your government ID card will have like this. Color changing, transparent sort of look to it. They are the people who put that foam on top of your card. So why does that synergize with Mana Material? Is because, okay, I don't think George put it like in a very easy to understand way, but I will I will make it more understandable to you guys. Okay, make it like super simple. So why does that matters? So essentially. As I talked about this before, George, one of George's struggling is he cannot find an actual go-to market really to sort of、um, utilize his meta materials for like advanced photonics, whatever.、Um, and they are having sort of like a production efficiency issue in terms of the cost. So how Nanotech will help is they already have their pr production facility somewhere、um, that I I haven't looked at their、uh, their actual filing yet. So.、I I I don't think it's in Canada. It might be in Canada, but they do have their own production facility and you know a power plant or whatever, and it can it can produce these like nano components that the manufacturer would need to make the semiconductors or sort of make it possible to make semiconductors more viable or or essentially what they're trying to do is they they are trying to re they are trying to replace the normal semiconductor. A material with mana material. So let's just say you need silicon for making semiconductors, right? It's a rare earth metal. But but now you can use like simple other minerals to make the mana material, and using mana material as the basis of the semiconductor. Hopefully that makes sense. And as Meta stated, you know, Nanotech is a strategic acqu、uh, acquisition for Meta. It will add tested and and cost. Cost competitive product technology along with new product and customer to your portfolio, and that new product and customer will essentially bringing about 
uh, seven million dollars in revenue every single year and that the net profit somewhere around two million dollars but these are all in canadian dollars so if you translate that into us dollars it will make about 1.6 million dollars in net in, in income if they don't really fudge their uh paper or cook their books a little bit it, you will, it will show that but right now they're using uh tax credit and they're using certain overhead expenses to sort of you know squash down the earnings so then you have a net loss and every time you don't really pay that that much taxes and then uh, nano 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 nanotech also add complementary skill sets which can support meta's markets accelerate our commercialization plans in verticals such as solar energy 5g and other antennas batteries a fuel cells and carbon capture um, so first of all, they don't have batteries and fuel cell technology yet. Um, their patent portfolio actually doesn't have that. I think they're trying to acquire that. For the antenna, which is the 5G thing, um, in terms of like the 5G films, uh, I don't think nano, nan, nanotech actually helped that much, but it's, it's essentially the method of production of the thin layer of, of nano components on a sheet piece of paper. Um, this is their principal pattern that is going to be really useful for meta materials and carbon capture that's just way too over the head right now um george is not in carbon capture market george is not going to be in battery and fuel cell market in the next few years i don't think he can expand that horizontally not yet but this is super good news because nanotax um their factory their manufacturing plant is going to help a lot with the, the semiconductor um segment of george's business and you see Meta plans to support expansion of Nanotech's uh, Thurzo Quebec facility, approximately double its production capability to 15 million square feet over the next one or two, ye two years. Yeah, their expansion is all about production and expansion. I think George is trying to push the manufacturing plant uh, really, really sort of to its, its full potential and utilization. I think George is banking on the roll to roll production to be a success, which you will all hope that's a success. And while Meta's new 68,000 square foot facility, you know, in Nova Scotia will support large OEM licensing opportunities. Um, so they're essentially trying to get their own production going, which is very, very interesting. Um, and then you have the, you know, the facility for OEM licensing, basically it's basic becomes a POC, which is proof of concept for OEM to see, oh, like I can make this in this way. This is row to row, it's, it's way cheaper, it's more cost efficient, and this is a bullish news here, okay? And manufacturing training and product application development at a pilot scale, as I said, it's a POC, and combined with our planned expansion, uh, Nanotech will continue expect you to position Meta as one of the leaders in high volume, low cost production of optical, of optical meta materials in the world. So essentially, um, George is banking on the photonic circuits, the application of photonic circuits and it's can sort of like a adaptation of that technology. So then all the manufacturers of ma uh, of semiconductors will replace their raw material with metal material instead of using the, the rare earth metal there. And I don't think they're directly gonna produce metal material per se. Uh, I mean, not metal material, they're not gonna directly produce a semiconductor per se, but they have the technology to produce the next generation semiconductor, next generation chips for cars, for computers, or for whatever. And, uh, and as you know, um, Nanotech does have contracts with the government, especially in the Canadian government market. Um, but the uh, one of the one of the issues that some institutional investors see in this acquisition is essentially nanotech doesn't have a international expansion sort of capability because a lot of governments only hire their local security firms to do a lot of these banknotes authentication or counterfeit detection because essentially it, it's it's sort of associated with national secret or you know, national security or whatever. This is why um, George's 5G and antenna rollout plan might, might have some setbacks because 5G infrastructure is a data security issue now. Um, so yeah, but this is really good news. And uh, if we do the math here, right? If we ignore, if we knock the, the top part here, if we just purely do the math, on the bottom part, I will address the top four in the next video. Um, Cause um, 
you know, we, we gotta cover the bullish news first, and then, you know, if you guys don't want to click on the the more sort of like a uh, more more factual and more neutral sort of perspective on this merger, then this video is already enough for you guys. Okay, all you have to know is this company. So right now they're making seven million dollars in revenue, right? Even though that's Canadian dollars, but it's okay. All right, all right. you know what? I will just time 0.81, and then that will equals to about $56.7 million, a 5.67 million dollars. And then if we trade that around 50, 56.7 million. So its actual value here is around $56.7 million in terms of US dollars, right? And then he, she, George acquired it with $74 million on USD. So then if we just do 74 over 268, outstanding share. I'm pretty sure that's like, let's do them in my head. That's about 0.27. Let's do it. 74 divided by 268. Yeah, 27.6. So let's do $28. So we would actually see a increase of share price of 0.28 dollars on the uh, meta material sort of uh, shareholder value. So let's just say the bottom, the the floor of meta materials um, price is at three dollars per share right now, and then we will add that 0.28 dollars. Okay, so now our actual value of the stock will be probably at 3.28 dollars right now. Okay, so right now our our stock is sitting at one point uh, three point one six. So tomorrow you probably will see a sort of like a pull up in the morning and everything. But you know the short interest is still pretty severe, as we know on where's short volume, short volume. But hey, I'm really hopeful for this because I think um, George did his best to sort of give us a PR release. And this is actually something that does have some vertical synergy. And uh, even though a part of me is saying it's a little bit expensive, but hey, it's good news anyways. So you see the short interest actually increased by today. And I would suspect that it was probably stabilized at around 61%. So tomorrow you will see a pullback in the morning and probably a Still, I think it's still going to be a green day considered uh, the actual value of the stock right now is 3.28. But if you see a red day, don't be surprised because the shorts are really laddering it down for MMAT. And uh, even though I said the fair value is 3.28 right now, but in reality, because it's an acquisition uh, and whenever a company acquires a, a new subsidiary, their share price will actually short term go down. And then it would probably would add twice the amount of uh, the value of the subsidiary. So right now it's two, uh, 0.28 as fair value. If we times two, then you will have 0.56. So right now we can see the stock trade up to uh, $3.56. All right. If you haven't sub, uh, subs to this channel because we only provide premium content that you will never see on other people's channel. But at the same time, guys, on um, if you haven't liked this video go smash that like button all right see you guys on the upside